Greg says, I ended up with two Google Plus business pages for the same brand domain. The first was created as I went step by step through the IFTTT videos and created the YouTube channel for the brand. This one has the brand logo. The second business Google Plus page was created automatically when I later created the Google My Business page. This one has the NAP and website info under the generic avatar area and the messages and the message to verify. Both are connected to the profile I created that owns the brand. I had the profile add my personal G Plus profile as manager, and the second G Plus page location with the NAP info is what shows up for me to manage. What is the best way to resolve this? Well, you can add yourself to both pages. Um, you can add yourself as a manager to both the Google. Look, there's your, your, what you're talking about is you have a Google brand page or Google Plus brand page and a Google Plus local page. That's what you're talking about. You have two business pages. One's a brand page that has a links section, but it doesn't have an NAP, name, address, and phone number. The other one is a Google local page that has an NAP, name, address, and phone number, but it doesn't have a link section. That's perfectly fine. You can have two. And what you can do is you can make yourself a manager of both pages, your, your main profile, I mean, a manager of both pages so that you can manage both. For example, we have the same thing with Semantic Mastery. We have a local page and we have our brand page, and it's perfectly okay to have both. Um, uh, we use our brand page more than our local page. Uh, if you're doing stuff for lo a local business, you can still have both pages, but I would recommend that you're what you're syndicating content to as part of your IFTTT networks, which is, remember, it's IFTTT to Buffer and Buffer posts to the Google Plus page, I would recommend that you connect Buffer to the Google Plus local page because that's going to help you to rank in maps. Um, you know, if, you don't, if, you're, if you're doing local work, guys, and you have a local maps page, then I recommend that you use that Google Plus page as your page in your network. Or you can always set up a secondary IFTTT account and a secondary buffer account and connect to both your brand page and your local page and syndicate to both. You can you you can definitely do that too. But um, you know, like I said, if I if I were to come over here and take a look, if you look at my pages here, let me just scroll down a little bit. If you guys can see this, we've got right here. There's two semantic mastery listings right here. Semantic Mastery, this is our main, this is our brand page, and this is Semantic Mastery, our local page. And the way that I differentiated the, the two was I added Gainesville VA, which is where our office is located, uh, underneath that icon there, so that I can tell just by looking at my pages which one is which, because this one has that little piece of text underneath that icon. So that's the difference. If we open this one up and we open this one up, you're going to see that these are two different this is our this needs to be updated this stupid image but this is our local page and you can see it's got the NAP here and it's got that little icon uh, text underneath the icon I did that specifically just so I could identify which one it was in my menu this is our brand page this is the one that you can see we syndicate content to because do I really care whether my local page ranks or not no because I'm we're not providing SEO services to businesses however it does rank in maps um, and that's probably just because our brand is you know got some authority now but um, you know we we syndicate to our brand page however like I said if you're doing local like for all the local work that I do guys I syndicate to my local page because that's gonna help it to rank in maps because trust me your competitors aren't doing that and their maps listings or their Google Plus pages that are for their local their local pages they're probably not getting updated with content regularly and if you're doing that through you know publishing content to your blog or your YouTube channel that's gonna be Keyword rich stuff that you're posting that's going to help your page to rank or your listing to rank. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, do not delete them. Just keep both of them. Just decide on which one you're going to use. I recommend using the Maps one. Um, you can actually use both if you set up a secondary IFTTT account and a secondary buffer account and just connect. You can actually syndicate to both, and there's nothing wrong with that.